All right, here we are. We are at the social distant but together <laughs> wedding of Bob Gill and Paula Christie. Bless the Lord. So we'll start with um, with uh, um, <clears throat> having Bob come down to under the chuppah. As I say, Baruch Habab B'Shem Adonai. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. <laughs> Yes, Lord. And now for oh, you're getting applause already. <laughs> you're, 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 say again. Let me get my toaster. I like, Would you like to wear it? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. It's what I got from Israel. I, I think it's like proper. Yeah, absolutely. So just sit up with the other girl. Your grandfather has to get this. Hey. Just press that and just control it. Oh, oh wow, this view is better than this view is better than this view. Mm. I'm moving quick, my apologies. Beautiful. Here we go. To the wedding, you can do what you want. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Baruch Habaa Bashem Adonai. Blessed is she who comes in the name of the Lord. Oh, you got it. Can't be serious. All the time. So, Paula, if you can circle Bob seven times. That's okay. Wherever you want to stand, Paula. Okay. Yeah. 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 One, check them out. Two. <laughs> right. I'm a, I'm a. Oh, see, I'm on. Blessed. It's like the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah. Lord, it's yeah. Oh, yes. Don't get sped up from here. So I know it does. Four. Five. Praise the Lord. Oh, she's really like. They're falling, they're falling for each other. Right? Yeah, I know. So, Paul, if you can be at his right hand, because you are at your right hand. Yep. Praise the Lord. You guys see online okay? Yeah. 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 Everything good? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has granted us life and sustained us and enabled us to reach this season. Bob, it says in the Proverbs, Steve finds a wife. Finds a good thing. Good thing, amen. You found a good thing. Yeah. You both found a good thing in each other. Yeah. So it says in the beginning, uh, God says it's not good for man to be alone. And it says that God would uh, make suitable helper, a suitable helper for man. So God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man. And God fashioned the bride for the man out of, out of the man's rib. And when the man woke up and saw the woman, he was 
pretty taken aback. He saw the woman when he woke up and went, whoa. She's pretty. <laughs> Fine. Whoa. <laughs> dynamite. dynamite. He said, dynamite. He said, hubba hubba in Hebrew. <laughs> hubba hubba in Hebrew. Hubba. Right. And, he, and he said, this is my bone. Yeah. This is my flesh. And because of this, man shall leave father and mother. And the two shall become, in Hebrew, Bissar and God, which is one flesh. And what Messiah said, what God has put together, let no man separate. And here's the mystery of this two becoming one flesh. The mystery here, Paula, is you from the beginning of time have always been part of Bob. You've always been part of Bob. Uh, you're his rib, it says. In the beginning of time, the rib was removed from the man. And now today, the rib comes back into the man. And why, why the rib? Why is the rib? Um, the rib protects the heart. So you protect the heart of Bob. You cover the heart of Bob and you wrap around, the rib wraps around the heart. You wrap around the heart of Bob. So what we're experiencing today is not just two people deciding to come together. We're just looking at two people who were together in the beginning of time. Mm, separated that's together. beautiful. Now coming, now mm. coming together. So whatever both of your histories are, it's as if this is a brand new beginning. In fact, it is Hallelujah. a brand new beginning. Yeah, it's just that so. you were married for the first time. Not to take away any of your histories. It's always there. But in spirit, it's it's like you guys for the first time coming together. Yeah. It's two of you that were together in the beginning. And now we're coming together at this time. It says in scripture, houses and wealth are inherited from your parents, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. So I'm going to recite now the seven wedding blessings in Hebrew and in English. This is done in every Jewish wedding. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei pri Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Shehakol v'chalifuhudu Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who created everything for his glory. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Yotzeh Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, the creator of man. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher yatsar et hadam b'tzamahu B'tzalem d'mut nabito Ve'hikolim amenu Binyana de'ihida Baruch atah Adonai Yotzeher ha'adam Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who created man in his image, in the pattern of his own likeness, and provided for the perpetuation of his kind. Blessed are you, Lord, the creator of man. Stokes hasis b'targel b'hakara b'kibbutz b'nehal b'tocha b'simcha Baruch atah Adonai b'sameach tziyon b'b'baneha let the barren city be jubilantly happy and joyful at her joyous reunion with her children. Blessed are you, Lord, who makes Zion rejoice with her children. Let the loving couple be very happy, just as you made your creation happy in the Garden of Eden long ago. Blessed are you, Lord, who makes the bridegroom and the bride happy. Shalom Beruhed Bimihira Adonai Lokeinu Yishama Beare Yehuda Ufonzo Jerushalayim Kol Sasan Bekol Simcha Bekol Katan Bekol Chalva Kol Mitzalot Katanim Ekupatam Beniri Mishpite Nikin Atam Baruch Atadonai 
Ratan Rim Hakala. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who created joy and celebration, bridegroom and bride, rejoicing, jubilation, pleasure and delight, love and brotherhood, peace and friendship. May there soon be heard, Lord our God, in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, the sound of joy and the sound of celebration, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the happy shouting of the bridegrooms in their weddings and of young men from their feasts and songs. Blessed are you, Lord, who makes the bridegroom and the bride rejoice together. Amen. Amen. So we have for you a, a cup of grape juice. If you and Paula can share a, a sip or more, whatever you like, it's just grape juice. Is that okay? Yes. And the cup has been sterilized. Okay. So Same we're fine. Right. <laughs> we obey the law. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Paul is chug, chugging it. <laughs> chug, 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 chug. <laughs> All right, Bob, it's on your heart to say a prayer for Israel. I'd right? like to. Yeah, 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 please, please. please. Because the news I just read the UN is attacking them mm -hmm. as a bully. Mm -hmm. It says in Psalm 122, verse 6, pray for the priest of peace of Jerusalem. He who prays for her peace will prosper. And I'm paraphrasing this. So. Father God, I come before you. Father, Hashem, I ask you, bless Israel, bless Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. May she have peace throughout her walls. As these nations mm -hmm. rise against them, as the socialists they can't see rise it. against Israel, mm -hmm. and these people that just are just kind of because they don't Very know, we are all drafted in to the seed of David. Lord, keep her safe. Keep her safe. The only reason America has been strong as it has been is because we have been blessing Israel as a nation. We've stood by her hand in hand with Jerusalem. And I praise President Trump for recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Lord God, bless Israel, bless the leaders. And also, Lord God, my heart is firm. And I hope I say this right because I. May the people that don't know Yeshua in the Jewish nation, <laughs> may they come to know Yeshua as a Messiah. May they come to know, Lord God, bless her, bless her, and keep her peace. I ask this in the holy name of Yeshua, Yamashiach, Jesus, the Messiah. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Amen. So now, Anai, as, as Bob and, and Paula have, have, have was on their hearts to bless Israel in the start of their wedding, Lord God, and put Israel first in their ceremony. I pray that you pour out blessings in their lives as they yes. move forward as husband and wife. In Yeshua's name. All right, are we ready for the vows? Yes, I am. Here we go. Bob, do you promise to love Paula just as Messiah loves his congregation and gave himself up for her to make her holy? I do. Do you promise, Bob, to always present Paula <laughs> as radiant, without stain or wrinkle or any blemish, but always holy and blameless. I do. Do you promise to love Paula as your own body? I do. Do you promise to love Paula as yourself? Yes, I do. Do you promise to feed and care for Paula just as Messiah does the congregation? I do. Do you promise to love her, honor her, cherish and keep her, forsaking all others, remaining true to her as long as you both shall live? I do. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. Paula, your turn. Do you receive Bob's promise to love you as Messiah loves his congregation? Do you receive Bob's promise to always present you as radiant without stain, wrinkle, or blemish? But holy and blameless. Do you promise to love Bob as your own body? Do you promise to love Bob as yourself? Do you promise to love him, honor him, cherish and keep him, forsaking all others, remaining true to him as long as you both shall live? For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Bob, do we have a ring for the bride? 
You want to go grab it? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Bob, yeah, if you guys don't have to social distance, that's quite the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. Social closeness as close as possible. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Words to Paula, you repeat after me in Hebrew and in English. You ready? After Hebrew and English? Okay. You're right. So they didn't have to repeat that part. Okay. All right. You ready? Hooray. Hooray. Okay. Uh, I'm coming. Lee. Lee. The Lee. The Taba At. The Taba At. Zu. Zu. Kedat. Kedat. Moshe. Moshe. The Shem. Hashem. Yeshua. Yeshua. Hamashiach. Hamashiach. Behold. Behold, you are consecrated to me. You are consecrated to me with this ring. With this ring, according to the laws of Moses. According to the laws of Moses. In the name of Yeshua the Messiah. In the name of the Yeshua the Messiah. And with this ring. With this ring, I do thee wed. I, I do thee wed. We have a ring. For the groom. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. She's awesome. My little girl. All right, Paula, speak to Bob and repeat after me. Are at Mikudashet Li Kaba at Zu Kedat Moshe. The Yisrael, the Shem, Yeshua, Hamashiach. Behold, you are consecrated to me with this ring, according to the laws of Moses, in the name of Yeshua the Messiah. And with this ring, Hold on. Hold on. I do the wed. Mm. This has been a funny one. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's not coming off now. No, it's not. All right, here we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen on Zoom and Facebook. Yeah. And the cloud of witnesses here in heaven. As witness to the covenant of marriage, according to the laws of Moses, under the authority of Yeshua the Messiah of Israel with agreement in the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you, right? Yeah. <laughs> Husband and wife, Mr. Bob and Paula Hill, you may kiss your bride. Okay. Do it. Woo! <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, you know, we wanted to do it, Rabbi. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to speak in my mind as I always do. <laughs> Satan's objective is to shut the church. And he's not doing it with us. It's, even though he might be out of this world, greater is in who is in this world. Greater is he in us than who's of this world. And since Paul and I already talked about shoving a pie right in Satan's face, <laughs> here it goes. Mm -hmm. right. We're not stopped. Amen. We're not letting no. Satan shut us up. We're not going to let him stop us from sharing the good news. That's and right. Worship because we have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit with, with us. And this, this is just more proof. And I just want to share one thing with us. This is how God's been using us. Yesterday on my way to work, I was on work. Someone almost hit me. Someone saw it on Facebook. And I knew it was prayer. 
But through this time, God is using us to draw people to the cross right now. Even as we speak, people have been reaching out and we've been testifying for the, what God has been doing in our lives. But that's what we're doing is because we don't we're not stopping. And then we're gonna have a big wedding when this is awesome time. Yeah. So the final um, the final aspect of the Jewish wedding is the breaking of the glass. So if you want to take that little glass, which is in the white wrapping there, yes. and put it under your feet or put it on the ground. Yeah. So the tradition this started uh, with the destruction of the temple. So there's always um, always uh, a commemoration that the temples were destroyed in Judaism. Mm -hmm. um, that's what it, it represents. But it also represents the breaking of our previous lives as single people. Amen. And it's the start of a new beginning. So whoever Bob is now and whoever Paula is now, there's a breaking of who we are as single people and a reforming and a recoming together as, as, as one, as a unified married couple. So that's what this represents. So for everybody that is on Zoom, well, I'm going to count to three. Bob is going to break the glass with his foot and we're all going to shout at the same time, Mazel Tov. <laughs> Okay? Uh, all right. He didn't drop it like the right? Like like right? Yep. One, two, three. Mazel Tov! 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 Mazel May the Lord bless you both and keep you both. And bless you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be merciful to you both. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you both and give you peace in the name of you. For those watching, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Bob Gill. You, you can Jen, you want to come up here? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. I'm embarrassing her. That's good about a child. I'm going to shut the lights. You didn't need these for us, so I figured I'd give them to you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Yep. Are they done?